Good morning and welcome to Morning Manna. Brand new week. It is Monday, June the 6th, 2022, and this is episode 3814. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, detailing. Stay tuned. So I'm 71 years old. I've been driving since I was 16 and got my license in Florida. But yesterday, or Saturday I should say, I experienced and did something that I have never done before. Now, I've washed a lot of cars. I've waxed a lot of cars. But I never had any of my cars professionally detailed. So I've done over 12,000 rides. I have 158,000 miles on my car. And if you want to listen to some other episodes, I talk a lot about uh, what I do in my retirement and how God has so blessed me with this car. But I decided I'm going to have Daisy. Yeah, that's what my wife names our car. I'm going to have Daisy a full interior detailing. Now, I have a monthly subscription at a local car wash here called Lightning McLean. They've got three locations. They've got good vacuums. And I keep my car clean. But, you know, you do 12,000 rides and 158,000 miles. There's parts of the car that just get a little dirty and even vacuuming, it doesn't help get all the little t- things up in the dust, right? Even, I mean, even dust on the air vents and things like that. So I did a little search. I found uh, a company uh, locally. It was called Clean Machine, spelled clean with a K. And uh, I went to their website. I scheduled an appointment, 10 a.m. Saturday. Uh, the gentleman came and took about two and a half, almost three hours And I am so excited about driving my car today. I mean, the first time since it's been detailed. And I'm so excited about that. Now, God gave me a spiritual lesson when this experience happened to me. Because, you know, there are the big sins, the the, the notable sins, the the sins that are easy, easy for us to see and easy for others to see. But what about those little things? And so I want to encourage you to do some spiritually detailing. Yeah, that's right. Spiritually detailing. Asking God, Lord, what is it that I don't see that could be hindering me? What are some of the little things? Now, I'm not, I'm not talking about striving for perfection because that's not going to happen until we, until we meet him in heaven. We shall be like him for we shall see him as he is. So I'm not talking about trying to uh, you know, create perfection, but I'm talking about, Lord, what are some of the things maybe that I can't see or the things that are kind of little that I just don't give the kind of attention that they need to, Lord? Would you show me those things? I love David's prayer in Psalm uh, 139. He said, search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. That's spiritual detailing. Uh, John, 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Proverbs twenty eight thirteen. whoever conceals their sins does not prosper, but the one who confesses and renounces them finds mercy. So God, show me, reveal to me those little things that have kind of clouded up my life, things that may be holding me back, right? Um, I love what Acts three nineteen says, repent and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out The times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Listen, Daisy got some times of refreshing on on uh, on Saturday, and I'm so excited again about about driving today. But let me just encourage you: What are some of the little things 
that you need to detail today to God. Something to think about. Father, thank you. (laughs) Thank you for that experience and for what you taught me through it. I'm so excited today, Father, to have ministry with others, bringing encouragement uh, to them, connecting with our community. Help me to be a blessing. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a great day. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy. Joy.